Good morning, good afternoon, and good night. Welcome back to another City Skylines episode. My name is Sports Monkey. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. And we're back here in my city of Tantrum. And for today, I wanted to get into my top mods. So this is my most requested video in my comment section. What mods are you using, Sports Monkey? So I want to go through my top five mods that, you know, or, or six or seven, I don't know. It's a top five mods list. But first and foremost, before we get into anything, I want to show you the entire list. And then I'm going to explain a few of the mods that I like the best. So if you want to pause the screen or slow everything down or do whatever you have to do, just I'm going to slowly go through this. So watch, I'm going to just scrolly, slowly. There you go. Look at that. Boom. And there you go. So that is my mods list. If you have to pause it, pause it. I completely understand. But that is my complete mods list. So for today, I said I'd go through and just explain a few of the mods that I truly love. Let's get started with that. So this is going to be like an honorable mention. So how one of the comments in the comment section was, how do you get such dark streets? Well, if this is my honorable mention mod, look how dark the it looks like fresh pavement. So what exactly is that mod? Well, if you're if you watch my channel, I use the roads color changer plus plus mod. And that is the that is the way you can adjust the color of the road and you can make it darker, you can make it lighter, you can do whatever the heck you want. So that is what I do for my roads. So for mods number four and five, we are here in this lovely highway off ramp. And as you can tell, it looks pretty naked. Well, what we're gonna do is we're gonna spruce it up a little bit. We have the unified tool belt to our left. I don't even know if it's called the unified tool belt, but we're gonna call it the unified tool belt. We're gonna click on the line intersection marking tool. We're gonna come over here. It's gonna be orange. We're gonna click on it. You can see we have nodes available that we're able to click on. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click, hold down shift, and you have a solid line. We're gonna do that for over here also. Now, if you want a dotted line or just, you know, just basically, there you go, dotted line. Keep that dotted line going. Okay, perfect. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna finish up the solid lines because on a real highway off ramp, you can actually, basically there are gonna be solid lines in the middle. Now what we're gonna do next is we are gonna hold down the alt button and we're gonna go hold down the alt button and click on these nodes to create a triangle. Well, what you can do is you can create different types of, you know, just looking off ramps. So for example, the most popular one is the Chevron and that is what we click there. It looks fantastic. You can also have it solid so it looks like concrete. You can have it gravel, you guys get, you guys get exactly what I'm talking about. Like basically you can create whatever you want and it'll look great. So now that that is the line intersection marking tool, the next part, so this is these mods go together. This is called the node controller. So what these mods do is you can stretch, as you can tell on my screen, you can stretch the node itself and you can kind of make it look a little bit more realistic. So before we stretch the actual nodes themselves, we're actually gonna go over here. So I'm gonna zoom in real quick over here. So see how there's these yellow dots? Well, we're gonna click on it, hold down shift and watch. You could see that the entire lane shifted over. So this way, when they're going off the highway exit, that basically they have a straight shot and then this lane goes to the off ramp. Now the next part of the node controller that I already mentioned was you can actually change and stretch the off ramp itself. And overall, it looks amazing. So this is the node controller mod, and this is the line intersection marking tool mod as number four and number five in our top five list. Okay guys, for number three, this is our, my third mod out of my top five list. We're gonna go back to that unified tool, but this is the network multi-tool. And as you can tell, we have plenty of different options. We have, we can create a loop. We can make sure that we can set a slope. We can do plenty of different things. So like, I'm just gonna show off a couple different things that the multi network multi-tool does. Like for example, 
create a parallel road. Well, what we're gonna do is I wanna have a highway, well, this is a hypothetical, but I wanna have a highway just literally mirror our actual highway. So I'm gonna click these nodes in green, and as you could tell, there is a road right next to it. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit the enter button, and look at that. We have an exact copy of the road right next to it. It's literally right next to it and it works perfect. It's perfectly aligned with it. So if you suck at making highways, this is the best way to do it. Now, let's go to a different part. Let's go to this very end part. Let's say we wanted to create a highway off ramp. So we're gonna go over here. We're not gonna, up. we're gonna go over here and we're gonna move this road up to like 59 feet. Let's just go 59 feet and we're gonna go straight across, okay? So we have that right here. So what does the network multi-tool do? Like what can we use this for? Well, if we click the loop, create a loop mode, we can go, we can click here and we can click here. And then you're gonna be like, well, it's on the wrong side, Sports Monkey. You're, you're not smart. Well, if we click this node right there and then hit enter, Look at that, we create a perfect, visually perfect, I think visually perfect off ramp and it looks really, really good. So again, if you're not the greatest like me at building highways, this makes your highway look way better than freehand, freehanding it. So let's keep going with our mod list. I thought that was a great number three mod. Okay guys, so for our final two mods, we are gonna there they are a package deal they're like peanut butter and jelly they just go together perfect so the the number two mod in my top five list is it's going to be called the speed slider mod now what that is is if you look at the bottom left of my screen so the reason why i'm near the highway is because you can tell what the speed slider mod does so i'm at 80 percent so what this 80 percent does is it saves my frames rates per second so my F fps and it basically helps my game run better and I can run the mods and it won't look like complete garbage. So I can bump this up to 100% watch. So as you're watching the traffic, you know, it seems to be going, going, nothing too crazy. Now, if we bump this back up to 100%, well, we're, we're trying to get there. You can see that the gameplay is moving much faster. So this is 100% is the normal gameplay. Now I, do not have a great GPU. I have a F RX 580 and my game, if I if I move down to the bottom left and accelerated time to times three arrows or whatever that is, my game would overheat. So if you do not have a good GPU, the speed slider mod is perfect for you because guess what? You can slow the game down at 80%. And you can still run all the mods and everything you want and get better frame rates per second. And it's a fantastic mod. Now you're going to be like, well, what is your number one mod? So for my number one mod in City Skylines, it is what's called dynamic resolution. And the reason why I like dynamic resolution so much is I'm a very visual person when it comes to City Skylines. You watch your Biffa plays, you watch your Conflict Nerd, you watch City Planner plays. Their graphics are top notch and I wanted to be a part of it and it took me a lot of time to figure out that dynamic resolution is the way to go. And we all have PCs that are beasts, we have our our X 380s, we have our 370s, our 360s, and you know what? That is needed, and our PCs can handle it. And that is why dynamic resolution is my mod because I visually love seeing this game the way it is right now. And basically, that is why it is number one. The game is just more appealing to watch to the masses when the graphics are good. So that is why it is my number one mod. So lastly, guys, we have a bonus mod and it's going to be the roundabout mod. So let's say you suck at making roundabouts and you're like, well, my roundabouts always look like complete garbage. Sports monkey, like I can never make a good roundabout. Well, what we can do with this mod is it is in our unified tool belt. See this washing machine looking mod? It is the roundabout builder. 
what you can do is you can go over this and you can, okay, say if you're like, well, I don't need a two road. I want to be cool and build like a two road with trees. Well, what you can do is you can pick whatever road you want on the left and you can actually build it. So I'm going to build a two lane road with trees. So now you see the red bullseye. You're like, wow, well, that, that looks like a roundabout to me. If you use the plus sign on your keyboard, you can make it bigger. If you use the minus sign, you can make it smaller. And let me just give it a little click clickeroonie. You click your mouse and you have a perfect roundabout. So guys, please let me know in the comment section below, what is your favorite mod? And just, you know, what is your favorite mod besides the move it tool and the traffic manager mod? So thank you guys for watching my top five mods list. You guys actually got seven mods, by the way. But thank you guys for watching my top five mods of 2022. Thank you very much. Have a great rest of your day.